Hey, this is Peter at Retro Fret in Brooklyn, New York. And uh, some people want to know about banjo ukuleles. Uh, how come some of them would have uh, a closed back with F holes and some of them would be an open back? Manufacturers uh, in the 1920s were trying to sell you a banjo ukulele any way they could. Some of them are what they call California style, which means that they actually have a closed back and the head is mounted from the top on that. That's fairly unusual, but occasionally one of those will turn up that actually has F holes cut in the back. They're primarily decorative, they don't really do much. But again, you know, in an era of people making thousands and hundreds of thousands of banjo ukes, anything you could use to sell it was a little bit of an advantage. So um, just one of those oddball variations that shows up sometimes. You know, open back, close back, holes in the rim like a Gretsch clarophone, uh, F holes in the back. It's just one of those little oddball variations. Doesn't really mean much, but it's kind of cool now. Thanks for watching. Thank you.